Hello everyone, welcome back. It's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're going to be taking a look at Ultimate General Civil War as we continue our playthrough as the Confederates during the Grand Campaign of the American Civil War in this game. Uh, we're in part 18 of our series here but now, I believe. Uh, we're in the second part looking at the Battle of Second Manassas. So yesterday's video saw the opening phases of the battle, the historical engagement between the Iron Brigade and Jackson's division, uh, or Jackson's the Stonewall Brigade as well, I guess, um, which was the impetus to lure General Pope into attacking the Confederate positions along the railroad lines that we're at right now. Uh, and in today's video, we're going to go ahead and continue that uh, battle uh, into the remainder of this day and perhaps the early part of the second day's fighting. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and drop out. This was all taken from a live stream just a couple of days ago, so I'm going to go ahead and drop back off and leave you guys uh, with, with the audio and commentary from the live stream. Meet you guys back up at the end, and I hope you enjoy. The retreating Texas Brigade is taking worse punishment than I'd like, especially with Enfields. Oh god, I didn't see McLean over here. He's in cover, you're not really. Right. Let's retreat, maybe they'll charge forward and they'll take some bait, otherwise we'll just pull back to this wood line where we've got better cover. They're not really taking the bait. They're not really coming after us. What if we move the infield brigade forward? Will they try and attack us then? They had that initial charge, and since that initial spurt, Reynolds' division's on our flank. Alright, so he's gonna threaten Haney's brigade, right? Oh, nice. Turn and fight. We're in the woods now. Of course, the enemy could be coming up our rear with these supplies over here. Not quite sure where Reynolds is. I guess some cavalry might be decent. Might be reasonably useful here. And we route Milroy. Nice. Alright, that worked, sort of. Not exactly the way I wanted it to do, to, to go, but it worked. The bling, 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 bling is running low on ammo. Our guys aren't. So that should give us the advantage there. And fall back Enfields. Maybe they'll charge. Fire your volley. Fall back. Um... Let's get these skirmishers down here. Maybe they can take this supply convoy. That'd be real great if they could. Not convoy, but wagon. I don't know if they can catch up or not. It'd be great if they could capture them. It's a long charge, boys, and they're running away from you. They're going the wrong direction. Can you get there? Do you have the energy? With the spirit? We're closing. Oh, you just hit that wood line. Damn it. Keep charging them. Don't shoot them down. Clean's exposing his foot. Ugh. They're too fast. I was held up by the river there if you don't volley him to death. Which you almost just did. They're going to fire another volley and they're going to die. Well, at least the enemy didn't get their supplies. Alright, Orphan Brigade, get out of there before they can volley back. Should have turned off shooting, but I didn't. Because I just am not that good. Alright, so Yankees brought up some reserves here. Not reserves. Looks like these two brigades are too already grow back. But, hey, the enemy's one of their supply wagons is gone. 
Presumably, they don't have unlimited. Wait, who did I just detach skirmishers from? God damn it. Not the brigade I thought I had clicked. Alright, five minutes. And then this phase will end. I don't know if that means our reinforcements will arrive or what, really, but we'll see. Okay, they're kind of forming up for some kind of attack here, maybe through brigades or so. We've been on their flank. Crush them, beat them, destroy them, kill them all. Basically destroyed two brigades here in the north. Texas Brigade's the only one that's really taken, well, and the Enfield Brigade's the only one that's really taken any kind of measurable punishment. Meanwhile, Porter stalled and stopped attacking us, so I guess the main assault's going to come here. So Pope's going to launch an all-out attack in the north. Potentially, uh, Porter's Corps will launch a flanking maneuver against us. Potentially. In my experience, the enemy down here never really does much. It's kind of historical in that Porter identifies the risk to uh, Pope's army and decides not to launch an all-out attack. Skirmishers go home. There's one brigade of enemy troops here. Milroy's brigade, or whatever it is in these woods, is, is effectively guarding their flank, I think. Clean should be almost done. Where's our supply wagon? Still has half supply. Let's move it south. Some of these guys have probably fought enough. It's Milroy, that's who it is. Alright. Milroy, what a jerk. Two brigades flat firing into McLean's flank. He's not done, but certainly driven back for now. Meanwhile, Porter is mobilizing some forces to move north. Looks like one brigade's demonstrating against our Mississippi brigade. Other brigades kind of marching for my rear. Alright, you guys, while you're reloading, move in a little bit closer. Alt. Um. Yeah, fall back. Run away! There you go. Didn't take much damage. Meade and Seymour look like they're moving on us. Go ahead and move this brigade over into these woods. If Meade and Seymour really are going to charge our defenses here, then we can hit them from the rear. Third Corps preparing for an assault in the north, I think. Maybe more in the center, I'm not quite sure. Brigade's gonna go ahead and fire into Meade's flank. You, your job, gentlemen, is to flank the enemy and do damage. The southern position here in the woods with the defenses are much stronger, I, I see. Or at least that's the way it seems to be. Means retreating for now. <sighs> I'm going to start pulling some of these guys back. I, I really don't like the long term situation here in this forward defensive line. So I'll pull back what I can. There's melees going on somewhere. Fire into their rear. Keep your goddamn muskets. What are you blocked by? There's no one in front of you. There you go. 
Really, that's all he lost? Oh, it was only a partial volley. We'll fire a full volley. There you go. Again, I'm kind of surprised they'd only lost that many men. You're going to be flanked by Meade if he's in range. Alright, fall back now. Reno's 9th Corps is showing up, so I think the main Yankee assault is about to begin, which is why I'm pulling all of my troops back to this new defensive line. The main weakness is this spot here, which we may have to pull back further. I've got to get some time, got to buy some time for my troops to pull out. So the enemy's charging up there. Arnold, you're going to pull out. You're going to bring your artillery back here. The supply wagons back. Orphans, you're going to pull back as well. Any or whatever your brigade is. You, you can stay there, I guess. Just pull back a little bit into those woods. Stonewall Brigades lost five. Oh no, they lost most of those in the previous fight. And actually, I think if we can, we can effectively do so. Let's pull into these woods. So let's get this defensive line set up here in this wood line with the artillery up there too. These infantry back here are largely acting as a rear guard. I think. That's my intention, anyway. Orphans will kind of come in here, point it this way. Goals, you'll be more here. You guys will be more here. fall back. The line in the north is secure, I think. Most of the Yankees just fired their volleys off, so I think you're good there. Go ahead and pull TH back. The artillery needs to move. This battery. You guys are blocked, but me is at like point-blank range. It's trading volleys, apparently. If they actually melee, Haney will have a, have a chance to fight. Orphans too, actually. Um, we've got more men in the north, I think, than we need. We'll move some of these guys south. Reloading, you guys should be firing into the flank. There we go. There you go. And Carr gets exhausted running up the hill. Two volleys to his face, and he's retreating. I don't know why I've got so much of my force. I'm disproportionately strong on the uh, on the northern end of this line. Southern end's the objective. I should should have stronger forces this way. Meade did get driven back. You guys are in pretty good cover all along that line. Got multiple brigades just ravaging Grover.
And there goes Grover's Brigade. Yeah, that's a good call out. Stonewall might well get flanked. Move Haney over here. There's a bit of a gap in our line. At least he's only a colonel. Orphan Brigade's commander just got killed. Kind of getting flanked and kind of not. No, Joseph Kershaw, one of our prestige brigade commanders. Maybe he's commanding a division, I'm not sure. Need more troops over on this end of the line. We've got too much strength on the north end. The Yankees were all shifting their advance this way. I'm going to have a chance to hit him in the flank and maybe do a double envelopment depending on when these reinforcements arrive. But at the moment I've got all my strength in the wrong spot. And I can't just advance on their flank because all they have to do is turn and face me. There's nothing fixing their, their front. The wall actually looks secure from flanking at the moment. I'll move this artillery up. I don't think they're going to launch an attack on that flank. Get back over there. Right, you can see they're shifting a couple of brigades north. Keep an eye on me. But again, there's no real reason for me to be over here. Other than the fact that I don't want to get flanked. And if we abandon this line entirely, they can just sweep up and around us. These three brigades right here are in really strong positions. The enemy's just sitting in the middle of a field, just getting demolished. I don't know why I'm letting Wraith's brigade take direct fire from enemy infantry, but I guess it worked out. Range ordnance rifles, almost a thousand casualties for these guys inflicted. Nice. Eighteen fifty fives are kind of holding the edge of our line at the moment. Those brigades got to be almost dead. I don't know if they really want to be charging us. I imagine if they drop much more below five hundred, they'll uh, get routed from the field. Almost. Let's see where everybody is. Alright, Enfields, you go up here, get in front of that artillery, take some of that fire that they're receiving. Texas Brigade, you're going to reinforce the objective. Lorenz Brigade shifts south. I don't think we're in danger down there. And uh, 1855s, keep doing what you're doing to Poe. Left wing, blah, 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 and Grover could try and flank us, but it's going to be harder if Poe gets, the, you know, evaporated. Can we delete him? 1855s are exposed. They're in 71% cover. We've got, like, better than 6 to 1 casualties inflicted than received. But apparently Poe's troops don't want to quit. Now that that pressure's off, you can get back a little bit. Maybe you get a little bit better cover back there. There you go. 92% cover. Alright. So, I don't know where I'm supposed to counter charge. I know you're suggesting it, but not really anywhere to counter charge. I think I'm doing okay here, being more passive, making it more of a Fredericksburg affair. You guys get out of there. 1855s, go save the three inch ordnance rifles. Get back off the ridge and then pull up behind the ridge. Well, that's an interesting path you're gonna take. You're exposed, that's for sure. 
but you're kind of on their flank and hopefully you save the artillery. Stonewall's not getting flanked, I don't think. I don't think, I think given, I think it's more based off the center of the unit in terms of if the game thinks you're being flanked. I don't think it fully recognizes the edge of your line as when it's long and strung out like this. All right, we're pretty much out of ammo in our supply wagon. Yep, there we go. So ammunition's starting to become an issue. Now remember, that core has a full, full docket of ammo. There you go, 1855, get flanked. Pull back, fall back, not full back. Back into cover there. Damn. Alright, they could go up and around our lines. That's a risk. Next you're gonna refuse the flank up here. Enfield, she'll just turn. It'll take him a better part of all the time left in this particular phase to do that, I think. Yeah, it should already be moving. Where are you going? Move! Okay. You guys are taking your damn sweet time. Alright. So, center. The enemy's got a lot of dead bodies in the open here. <laughs> Most of these brigades look pretty healthy. Arnold did get, get hit pretty hard at one point. I don't know when. I know someone I saw someone post something that he got got raped, but um, he looks okay. Got enough troops around him that I think he's safe. Stonewall Brigade, 800 Enfields, those are gonna be expensive to replace. No more ammunition for our troops. Our reinforcements I would hope would come soon. I never told you to stop there, three inch rifles. Get out of there. You're so exposed and alone. All that's going to happen is enemies are going to show up over this tree line and you're going to get hit hard. I'm not getting overrun. We're fine. My left flank is in danger. Yep, yeah, that's true. But our reinforcements are arriving, gentlemen. Our reinforcements are here. The battle will turn. Alright, get ready to launch a massive flank attack, ladies and gentlemen. Where's Rufus King's division? Whatever. We already ravaged his division yesterday. And there goes Stonewall. Well, you guys are complaining he hadn't retreated yet. There he goes. Alright, send that supply wagon north. These guys all have fresh supply. We need more supply in the troops that are fighting the enemy. I really think our flank over here is fine. Exmer's in good cover. The infield brigades, we were firing two brigades to the one enemy that's come to approach us. We've got another brigade kind of in reserve, the 1855s over here. We've got some artillery on a reverse slope. We should move them up to be more useful. We could always swing in all our troops over here. Stonewall, why don't you just get in this trench here? The line is bent, but it is not broken. Right, artillery, you guys go up there. I 
I don't even have to take Henry Hill. We're already we already won this battle. There's literally no reason to attack. Other than to lose casualties. Reinforcements continue to stream forward. The guns aren't going to be much use there, but they're going to take forever to get forward anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use those reinforcements to swing north, and hopefully we can capture or catch the majority of these troops in the north here and, and destroy them or cause them to surrender. Were that I could, the enemy's in an open. You know, we could hit him nicely with napalm. Just imagine napalm right here. Just along these nice and pretty lines. Could you imagine napalm on a linear combat battlefield? Oh boy. That would just be murder. Alright, we're just waiting for... Oh god. I didn't realize there were troops there. Oh. Well, won't be for long. So much for the surprise of a flank attack. Well. Alright, Reynolds artillery is routed. They might have a sense of what's going to come now. another volley into these guns. Would have liked to do more damage than that. Alright. Um, enemy troops, individual brigades. Going to be a nuisance here. We're going to lose a lot more men than we need to already refused their line and formed a defensive position in these woods. Our line's going to overlap. They're already retreating out of this defensive position they set up. Good to know. Cowards. You set up a defensive line that I think I might have to deal with, and then you run before I have to deal with it. Okay. Keep advancing, boys. Keep up the pace. General Albert Sidney Johnston, in the role of James Longstreet. Mr. Cage? Who's Mr. Cage? Are we talking like Nicholas Cage? Um, Jackson's brigade is about to be trapped in a vice. Got too many Hanes here on my on my battlefield. I don't, can't treat, keep anyone straight. Right, we're gonna sweep in behind, then we'll advance in the front. Jackson's brigade's gone. Excellent.
All right, Ransom's battery, I think, is about to die. There you go. He's dead. He died a noble death. Some cavalry would be useful. I thought I had a unit of cavalry in my core. I don't think I've got my whole core on the field yet. Alright, so we've kind of spooked these guys a little bit prematurely. Taking some heavy fire for doing that. I don't know if they think there's an opportunity or what, but they are charging at us. All right, everybody, that's going to do it here for this video. We've begun the counterattack and begun driving the Union forces back here at the Battle of Second Manassas. Uh, we're about to have an unfortunate uh, frustration, I guess. The way the game is built, uh, if it's got a scripted next day battle, uh, as this one does, without any real objectives for the Confederacy, it's going to move us to the next day here in just a moment without our say-so. So we've got all these troops uh, working our way in around the Union line. We're busy crushing and obliterating their forces. And just like that, uh, we are going to be pushed back to the historical starting point of the Battle of Second Manassas or Second Bull Run on August 30th. So I think that's a natural stopping point for you here. Uh, and we'll pick it back up uh, tomorrow. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.